August 20th. The Church of God, which he has purchased with his own blood. Acts 20, 28. The deity, not suffering, for it was incapable of suffering, nor of dying, for essential life could not die, but deity with the humanity constituted the one offering which has perfected forever the salvation of those who are sanctified. Profoundly and awfully mysterious as this truth, faith can receive it. It towers above my reason, and yet it does not contradict my reason. While it transcends and baffles it, it does not oppose nor supersede it. Christian reader, the blood upon which you depend for your salvation is not ordinary blood. The blood of a mere human being, however pure and sinless, but it is the blood of the incarnate God. God manifest in the flesh. It is the blood of him who is essential life the fountain of life, the resurrection, and the life. And because of the divine life of Jesus, from thence springs the vitality of his atoning blood. Oh, that is a divine principle that vivifies the blood of Christ. This is it that makes it sacrificial, expository, and cleansing. This is it that enables it to prevail with God's justice for pardon and acceptance. This is it that renders it so efficacious that one drop of it falling upon the conscience, crushed beneath the weight of sin, will melt the mountain of guilt and lift the soul to God. Hold fast the confidence of your faith in the essential deity of the Son of God, for this is it which gives to his atonement, all its glory, dignity, and virtue.